The Public Land Survey System, also referred to as the PLSS, is how most of the U.S. has devied up land and described formal locations prior to the popularization and increased accessibility of GPS. The Public Land Survey System is still widely used across fields involving historical and archival data. A detailed understanding of how to read and implement the Public Land Survey System can be a useful tool for geographers, geologists, real estate agents, government officials, and many other professions. In this video, you will be introduced to the basics of Public Land Survey System, its history, limitations, structures and units, and of course, how to use it. The PLSS was first introduced in 1785 by the Land Ordinance following the Revolutionary War and was later refined in 1851. Since then, the system has seen few revisions and is now directed by the Bureau of Land Management. Though not popularized until 1862, the PLSS is still used as the primary means for legal definition of property in the U.S. Most states use the PLSS with exception to much of the eastern seaboard, including the 13 original colonies, Texas, and Hawaii. The majority of these exceptions are rooted in their history. The Eastern Seaboard primarily uses the meets and bounds system based on traditional British surveying practices, and land grant boundaries from Spain are still used in parts of Texas, New Mexico, and California. Some portions of Ohio and Indiana use either the meets and bounds system or congressional survey townships. Parts of Michigan, Wisconsin, and Indiana use French long lots or arpents, usually dictated by the sharing of river fronts. And Hawaii uses a pre-annexation system. States in which the majority of land is not on the PLSS are shown in white. What most people don't realize is that they are already familiar with some of the larger units of the public land survey system, those being townships. Though the geographic townships of the PLSS and local political townships do not always overlap, they are generally the same boundaries. Townships are typically six square miles in area, though the most common exceptions lie along coastlines where a designated linear boundary is substituted by a natural feature, such as a shoreline. Within each township, there are 36 sections, each with an area of one square mile. Within sections are quarters, which derive from the quartering of a section. Quarters can be further quartered, cutting each subsequent area into four equal parts. While this can be done up to a maximum of 1 64th a section, PLSS descriptions don't typically exceed three quarters. For example, within the state of Michigan lies Kalamazoo County, where Pavilion Township can be found, which contains 36 sections. The sections within each township are ordered in a particular fashion, starting with section one in the top right or northeastern corner and sneaking through the township bostrophedonically, meaning as the cow plows. When a section is quartered, we refer to each resulting quarter by the directional position, giving the northwest, northeast, southwest, and southeast quarters. Again, we can subdivide any one of these quarters a couple more times to give a more precise area definition all of which described by their directional position. In this example, the star is located in the northwest quarter of the northwest quarter of the northwest quarter of section 16. Of course, that can be quite a mouthful, so the PLSS has a specific notation to simplify this. But to understand this notation, we first need to adjust our perspective. All states using the PLSS have a reference point in which all townships are described in relation to. This reference point is the intersection of the principal meridian, running north-south, and the baseline, running east-west. Some states have multiple of these intersections. In Michigan, this reference point falls roughly in Jackson City. A closer look at that intersection shows the numbering and position of all townships relative to that reference point. The notation of this is referred to as township and range, or sometimes simply town and range. East-West running township boundaries are referred to as township lines and run parallel to the baseline. North-South running township boundaries are referred to as range lines and run parallel to the principal meridian. In the PLSS, townships are described relative to a reference point. So, for the example shown here in bright blue, the township is situated two townships north of the baseline, noted as T2N, meaning township to north, and two townships west of the principal meridian, noted as R2W, meaning range to west. With this system, any given township can be efficiently identified. For example, to find the township noted as T3SR10W, 
Simply count three townships south of the baseline and ten townships west of the principal meridian, positively identifying Pavilion Township of Kalamazoo County as Township 3 South, Range 10 West. Quarter quarter, or the fraction, is where the PLSS notation can become a bit more complicated. The easiest way to read quarter quarter is by identifying the described areas piece by piece. It is very important to note that the quarter quarter is written from smallest to largest unit, from left to right, meaning that it often makes sense to read it from right to left, or from largest to smallest quarter. This example starts from the right, or largest quarter, as the southwest quarter of section 20, then decreases to the northwest quarter of the previous quarter, and then identifies the northeast quarter of the previous as the final area. Some other fractions are less frequently used in the PLSS, such as halves. This is used in the same fashion as quarters, but display a half notation rather than quarter, and only use one of the four cardinal directions. The light blue box shows the eastern half of the southeast quarter of section 20. Putting it all together and applying the PLSS operates the same regardless of occupation. Below is a water well log which uses the PLSS to describe the well location. Written in full proper notation, the log lists the location as range number 10 or range 10 west, town number 3 or town 3 south, section number 20, and fraction southwest, southeast, northeast. Given the full written PLSS notation for this area, the described location can be found. As identified earlier, Township 3 South and Range 10 West is Pavilion Township of Kalamazoo County. The record shows the well is located in Section 20 of Pavilion Township, which is further subdivided by quarter. Starting from the largest quarter in the description on the right, the Northeast quarter of Section 20 is identified. And the Southeast quarter of that quarter and the southwest quarter of that quarter, finally giving the described area and location of the water well shown by the purple star using the PLSS. We hope this breakdown has given you what you need to start using the public land survey system. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like or leave any questions you might have in the comments. And as always, don't forget to rock that subscribe button.